So this is another quick video to revise over a short unit which covers the data types and structures that you need to know. This is mainly a, a practical area of the course which you'd really learn from using these different variables in programming. Some of them you may be familiar with as well from using them in the databases section of the course as well. So let's just go through the list. A string is really, really simple. It's a, any variable that contains a combination of letters and numbers essentially. Now the best example of a string is a postcode because it will have letters and numbers and spaces. Another good example of a string would be an email address because it has the at symbol. It could possibly contain letters and numbers. It will have full stops. It could have dashes and underscores. And those are perfect examples of strings. A character variable, really simple. It just stores a string of one length. It can only contain one character. And that could be anything. A good example of that usage would be if you want to store one character for someone's forename, just to store the character of it, the character of a middle name, or whether they're male or female, storing either M or F. A numeric variable type, we should know a couple, we should know an integer is a whole number, which we use to store someone's actual age. And we should know about the real variable type as well, which may be, depending on your programming language, something you call a single variable, which is used to store decimal numbers. So, for example, someone's height, um, it's not a whole number. Um, so you need to be able to spot all of those different variable types in use. Another variable type is a Boolean, which is very straightforward. It can either store true or false values. So an example of using that would be to store whether someone has passed the driving test or not. And again, it's another field type that you may have seen now in databases. The last variable type is a 1D array and it's actually a data structure where you can store a list of any variable type and depending on the programming language you use, whether it's Java, whether it's Python, whether it's Visual Basic, the arrays are different in how they're declared and they have different uses as well. And generally a list has a variable type that it stores and what you would have is an array of strings to store a list of several people's names. Or you could have an array of Boolean variables to keep track of whether a, the, a list of usernames has privileges to access the internet, which could be a true or false value. And position one in the list of names can correlate to position one in the array of the Boolean values, which tell you whether they can access the internet or not. And what the type of questions you'll get asked on this will usually contain segments of code that you need to read and look at. And you may be asked what type of variable and what type of data structure are in use uh, in, in the particular code. So it's really important that you understand the usage of the different variables. And my top tip for spotting arrays is that there's usually a for loop involved to manipulate all the positions in an array. Or you should look really carefully for brackets, anything contained in brackets, usually a list of strings or a list of numbers, whether integers or single, should give away that something is a list. And again, using a for loop to manipulate it because generally you know how many positions are in an array and how many indexes you need to use, which means you would use a fixed loop rather than a conditional loop. 